So in this video, I'm going to take my landing gear that I printed for my helicopter um, and try to take off the support structure. As you can see, it printed really nicely over here and this is where I had probably better glue uh, on my heating bed versus on this side. It was messy, but since it's uh, again support structure, I'm going to be removing that, so that doesn't matter. Um, let's begin. So first I'm going to start with the easy parts and try to remove all the little stuff by hand and kind of just clean it off nicely. Okay. careful enough and I broke this piece because I made them too thin. Oh well, well let me see if I can clean it up still. Great, completely broke it up. So I cleaned it all off uh, and my first design is basically a failure because my support structure over here was attached way too strong and my my my, uh, my piece over here was slightly weak so it just broke off as you can see I was going for a little spring kind of design but uh, but it broke but that's the beauty of having your own 3D printers I can just go redesign it now and print another one and try again. So the space for the battery that I accumulated um, actually was a little bit too tight. I didn't allow for any tolerances so I was just putting this in and then broke this off. So and now it's kind of stuck in there. Uh, crap. Anyways, uh, so that's definitely need to be redesigned. And then the last piece I want to try on is this piece right here. See how well that matched up. So that went in perfectly, so I don't need to change that. That is actually the only thing that <laughs> worked. Well, these lined up as well, so that's good too. So this piece lined up as well, so that was it's the only piece that fits, so basically that's the only thing I'm going to keep, everything else I'm going to have to beef up and do it again. So I'll post uh, another one. 